In April, Judy and I decided to purchase a pool for the grandchildren for their birthday. After extensively researching the market for several weeks, we decided to purchase an Intex saltwater pool system from our local Walmart store. We called the store, but the pool wasn't in stock. We talked with the department manager, Rosie, and we asked her to order the pool for us. For weeks, we waited for the pool, but it never arrived. Finally, we went into the Brunswick store and reordered the pool on their computer. We were told that the pool would arrive in five to seven days. Two weeks later, the pool still had not arrived. We managed to find out that the pool was sitting in the warehouse in Douglas, Georgia, which was less than two and a half hours from us. We called and made arrangements to pick up the pool at their warehouse. We gassed up and we drove to Douglas, Georgia. But when we got there, we were told that we couldn't pick up the pool, that it had to be delivered to the store where the order had been placed. After several calls, we located a pool in Jessup, Georgia, just like the one we wanted. Spending another tank of gas and hours, we traveled to Jessup, Georgia and had to purchase another pool. For hours, we talked and finally got a credit back on our Walmart credit card for the first purchase. After getting the pool home, and summer now half over, we set the pool up. We went to the local Walmart and purchased 100 pounds of salt, swimming pool supplies, and pool chemicals. By now, we were into this pool some $1,300 and two tanks of gas. After using the pool for several days, we found that we needed another filter. So we traveled to the local Walmart, but no filters were on the shelf. After checking with the management, we were told that no filters would be available until next summer. No problem. There's always Walmart.com. Well, when we got home and went on the internet, no filters were available through them either. After hours and hours on the telephone, we managed to locate 30 filters in the Walmart store in Kingsland, Georgia. In the car we go, fill up with gas, and off into the sunset we traveled. By the time we returned home, we had spent another $236 for filters because we were afraid we couldn't get any to last us through the year. It just amazes me that Walmart would sell pools costing a thousand dollars and not carry the equipment to keep them operational. It greatly upsets me that it being the middle of July that they would not order and keep in stock such items for their customers. The five days in the hot humid weather was murder on both me and the grandchildren as we cleared the 18-foot area where the pool was to be installed. The happy pool experience for our grandchildren and us has turned into nothing more than a costly nightmare. Once again, customer service has gone to the dogs, and I'm sure Sam would turn over in his grave.